guys, I'm Leslie. Welcome to today's video. So today we're gonna hang paint drop cloth curtains. Basically, you buy canvas drop cloths for painting to protect your flooring and that kind of thing. And we're gonna make these into curtains. Something that we're gonna do today, so I can give you a little extra tip, is you really absolutely have to wash them. Ugh. They smell awful. <laughs> so I'm gonna wash these. We're definitely gonna iron them. So let's go get these in the wash, get these ironed up, and then let's get these hung and show you how to do it. It's super simple. Oh, I forgot to mention the best part. <laughs> They're $16. I spent a total of $32 on curtains for my master bedroom. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and hitting the notifications. Anything that you can do like that, like giving this channel a thumbs up, like the video, all of that supports my channel. It helps YouTube know that you're enjoying it and it'll continue to help show my video more and more so I can get out there. All right, so now let's go get these in the wash and get started. I'm gonna put a lot of scent boosters to try and get these things to smell way better. Real quick, while those are in the dryer, um, I wanted to hop on here and show you that I'm gonna just use a curtain rod that I've already had, so I didn't have to spend any more money. And then I picked up these little rings with the clips. This is what we're gonna use to attach the curtains to the drapery rod. So I got these at Lowe's. Also wanted to let you know that I bought those drop cloths at Lowe's. They sell them at Lowe's, Home Depot. They come in all different sizes. Um, so I measured how tall my windows were and I got 15 feet long by four feet wide. They have six by nine, six by 12. They have all different kinds. And they also have medium duty, heavy duty, and I think they might have light duty. Definitely make sure that you're not getting the kind that has the plastic behind it get the kind that says machine washable. Okay, let's go see if they're dry and get them ironed and get this done. Okay, so I'm gonna iron these now. Not gonna lie, I'm not really looking forward to ironing 15 feet of curtains, two of them. <laughs> I'm gonna get these ironed and then we're gonna get these hung up. Okay, so I laid mine all out on the floor and if you look right here, I have this folded this is where I know this is the top, this is the bottom. I'm actually gonna fold mine again one more time in order to give this a little bit more of a fuller look at the top. Hopefully the light will adjust and you're gonna be able to see me. So, I have it how we folded it, and now I'm gonna hook it to our little clips that I showed you earlier. Okay, so it's totally up to you on how you wanna style these. I am actually gonna push mine over, but I wanted to show you how I just brought them all the way down to the floor. I like how I double folded it to give it a nice little extra you know, kind of flouncy part up at the top. And so I think for me, I'm just gonna push mine over because I want my windows to look big and wide open. And then I'm just gonna do the other side. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.